And the second one is that we want to promote uh, Back to my YouTube channel, Didi Le Javane. Today I'm going to show you a very special day here in Geneva. I'm in front of the uh, uh, Comedy uh, Palais de Nation at our <laughs> UN office here in Geneva. And this special day is very well known everywhere in the world now. If you don't know yet, you better check out on. Uh, my YouTube channel here and today is the national day of batik where Indonesian citizens celebrate the national batik day everywhere because the UNESCO recognizes the batik as a uh, word intangible heritage in terms of culture so follow me if you want to know more about this event we are very lucky today because the weather is quite warm as compared to the last few days where it was cloudy, rainy and so cold. Well, this is the beginning of fall season, yet we haven't changed our time from summer to winter time. I think that I will ask one of the coordinators to provide me or to provide us with the objectives of this event as I'm curious about it. This Kabaya fashion show is done spontaneously. Let's watch these models present their Kabaya. And for your information, Kabaya is a long fitting traditional blouse worn by women in Indonesia. It is usually made of silk, thin cotton that is embroidered with different patterns. The kebaya goes very well with a sarong that has unique colors. Just to let you know guys that batik is a way of manufacturing different colors on the design textiles by dyeing them after applying wax to the specific undyed parts. So batik may vary from one to another province in Indonesia. You can find Balinese Batik, Javanese Batik, West Papuan Batik, Flores Batik, Kalimantan Batik and so on. So it's kind of a cultural identity that has a great value behind the buttons alone. After the unplanned fashion show, this beautiful Indonesian woman and girls pose together holding the alphabet banner letters, Kebaya goes to UNESCO. I'd like to know what does this mean? later once I am able to speak or to discuss with the um, one of the coordinators and yes it's time for men photo session uh, where everyone is also wearing beautiful batik now I'm finally able to meet with the coordinator Ceci Karina so but Ceci can you please tell us about the objectives of this special event in Geneva celebrating Indonesian batik Day? Is yes. it right? Yes. It's International Batik Day, and at the same time, you want to also promote the kebaya as the national dress for the UNESCO. So. Ah, so this is one of the objectives of your event. Yeah. All right. So we have two objectives. In okay. Event. So what so is the second objective? The first 
the first one is the celebrating the batik day because right. the second of October is a batik day. Yeah. And the second one is that we want to promote uh, bat kebaya like this dress. Right. Yes. As an intangible heritage also to UNESCO. Oh, this because is very nice. Because kebaya is uh, also heritage of the Indonesia, like you can see in a lady here wearing yes. uh, the kebaya here. So how do you organize this event anyway? It's uh, by mouth to mouth, WhatsApp and social media. We use also Instagram, Facebook, uh, all the means. But it's very quick, you know, because here in Indonesia, I believe that all the Indonesian people living here still love Indonesia and they want to show that they have the kabaya and uh, they want to show batik also. So I, I've heard, actually, I've heard that this is just for women, like promoting kabaya. No, Was no, it no, not for at women all. Or? No, 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 at all. Okay. I said uh, in our invitation that it is also to celebrate batik. Yeah. So batik is uh, not only used by women but also by men, even children also. Right. Uh. And they can use not only in the formal occasion, they can use in the casual, like these uh, two boys here. See, they can use uh, with the jeans and the sneakers. So right. uh, here. It's interesting. Thank you for this uh, uh, brief information about how you, how you Indonesian women um, celebrate the Indonesian National Batik Day here in Geneva in front of the Palais <laughs> des Nations. Mm. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the UN office, guys. Yeah. yeah. So. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Okay. Thank thanks. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. I don't know whether it's better to have my sunglasses on or I take it off anyway, so it's better. But it's very sunny, guys. So, as you have already heard from the organizer, she, uh, she said that the, the event has two objectives. One is the uh, uh, celebrating the Indonesian National Batik Day on the 2nd of October. Everywhere in the world here, those who are Indonesian, you probably have uh, understood that how you guys celebrate the Indonesian National Batik Day. And the second is promote, to promote Indonesian uh, kebaya, batik, especially women as a, like, uh, wearing batik as a dress code for, for those who are working in the office. So, uh, this is a very good day anyway, and uh, stay on! UNESCO stands for United Nations for Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization has recognized batik as an Indonesian intangible heritage on the 2nd of October 2009. So, this celebration has been 13 years ever since. And what impresses me is that participants are not only coming from Geneva, they are coming from different cantons in Switzerland, like from Canton Zurich and Canton Nouveau. This is really amazing to see their enthusiasm to celebrate the National Batik Day here in Geneva in front of the uh, Place des Nations. So guys, this is it, the celebration of National Batik Day here in Geneva in front of the UN office. So I hope you guys like it and uh, if you like, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and comment. Also share this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if you guys also celebrate your National Batik in where you, wherever you are. Okay, I'm Didi Lechavane. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again next time. Ciao. Got no more for the big news. If I'm gonna play tough and wanna hate things, I wanna show up and make a statement. Gotta mind the consequence of being incompetent.